So as we all know of the checkered floor in masonry, the G certainly stands for the game, gnosis, geometry, and God, and certainly other things as well. Think of gnosis in terms of hypnosis. The G is the seventh letter of the alphabet. Seven, with the wordplay applied, can mean save on, or no vice, or novos, for new world order, novos ordo seclorum, right? New, okay? New, the new deity, right? Knows, right? No is a play on words. He knows to vie and to save on. Now, it's a game that they're playing, okay? They pretend to be your savior, right? They create the problem, and the solution is they save you, okay? Also, see vain, right? Seven, the A, right? Vain, see vain, say vain, new vies, and knave is. All these are wordplay that has to do with the seven. Let's say that three of these are chosen. If I say 777, seven, seven, it's like figure out which three of these that I mean to put. It's the same thing with 666, so X, uh, CX, X is, X eyes. Um, it can also be six, right? Sick your dog on them, or sucks. Okay. Um, game can also be AI, gay, may, aim, e, and go, e. Okay, game, desperate, day, spar, eight, right? When you do not concede the light temple martial arts argument, spar it, spirit, the day, spar perspective is eight, and the hero becomes desperate is one theory, right? The idea is to make him desperate by not give, assigning him reverent power and the admiration of potential wives by making society a certain way. This also leads us to Albert Pike. Right, Albert Pike, okay, his first name, Rob Lay, the T is the plus, backwards, wordplay applied, Rob Lay. Altogether, all bore, pick E, the T is the plus, wordplay applied, Pike, pick E, Albert, all bore, the E becomes the O. Has it ever occurred to you, occur, O, cure, the O, the sun cycle, cure. How about you should behave, be the hive, the hive mind. Now think about, um, the men that women desire in our society. Tennis players with a sweater around their chest, okay? Greedy businessmen, computer scientists, nerds, etc. Um, elect, you know, what kind of jobs do masons have? Electricians, businessmen, corporate jobs, bankers. Think about in the story of the Bible, the jinn were forced from, uh, excuse me, the Quran. In the Quran, the jinn were forced from fire, okay, in Muslim culture. Now think about in terms of alchemy and Prometheus stealing fire from the gods. Is it possible that these jinn are actually based on actual people? Okay, pharmacaea, sorcery, alchemy. Okay, they were alchemically, you know, metaphorically, so to speak, forged from fire. Forged from chemicals that the fire helped combine. You know, when the, when the flame touches something, its chemical proce properties change. Okay? So they were, these, these are, you know, drugs, and medicines that were forged from fire. They were given to people, men, chemists, right? Chemistry, those two have chemistry, and as a result, they have a child. Men, the patron of chemists, men to mine, Pluto and Hades, right? Orcus, they go underground, they take the precious metals, and they use them as a median of exchange. Men have to fit the mold to date the attractive women, especially women, um, especially women who are truly the ones that are bringing in the New World Order. They pick the guy, choose to have sex with the guy many times, and choose to have the baby and to raise the baby. We talk about knowledge, right? Biblically, they say to know someone is to sleep with someone. So they get to know the person, then they have sex with them and get to know them more, and then they choose to have the baby, and then they raise the baby with whatever knowledge they have. The tree of knowledge is what has created this corrupt, despicable society. Doubt it not. They are not following the martial arts order of life where Pharaoh is the son of God. Son is to play on words, S-U-N, S-O-N. In the German, I believe, son is S-O-N-N-E, right? The E instead of the A. The A is the hawk and not the bull, the vulture, etc. So if people were in the martial arts order, 
we wouldn't have these crimes against humanity, these massive human rights violations. He who would cultivates the spirit of righteousness would be setting the order straight. All right. So we talk about vying for L. Another way to look at it is Lord as master. Master as the ideal man. Right? The master tells the servant what to do. There's a certain order. Even in the Bible, it says no servant can be greater. It talks about slaves and servants and their masters. So if the master is vying with another master martial artist, if the master of a, of a house, of a trade route established home, a home that has been established from the goods and the services of traitors, traitors, okay, versus a martial arts home, and the woman chooses to breed with the trade route people, and they form their own culture in Europe, for example, where Rome was an impo important trade route. It's said to have a population of a million people, and then there was the greater Roman Empire. If they consistently breed with non-martial artists, masters of the house, head of the household, a chokehold, so to speak, the head of the household, there's connections to be made there as well, what happens? We consistently reproduce scum, okay? Now think about ISIS and incel. The incel movement says that women should be made as sex slaves. It is a Western movement by people who are undesirable in Western culture. I don't agree with a great many things, but there's something to be said about women's free will and liberty bringing about scum because they reproduce with scum that they got to know they used their judgment as opposed to the arranged marriages and the martial arts order of Egypt that consistently produced righteous women who were conforming to the righteous man's social norms and not crony capitalism or Roman corporate social norms that started with Justinian in like 527 AD uh, when he began to rule. And of course, this is when they officially coined the term uh, from what I gather, or when they, when they were officially recognized rather by the Roman Empire, corporations that funded cults and tradesmen and craftsmen, masonry, the craft. Okay, so let's think about in terms of the rich criminal class. Women get to know people, and they are hypergamous. They date up toward the criminal class that can support them. We all know the rich class is criminal class. Occupy Wall Street, Wall Street, the wall. Law backwards is wall. Occupy Law Street, Wall Street, the lawyer is the shark. What is lawyer backwards? Ray Wall, to be the bull that covers the light. The, to the color of law and not the color of the sun. The color of law is more likely to be green for money and reproduction and red for the principle of evil and black for the bull that covers the light. And then there's some kind of white for the moon temple, lukewarm light, kind of, you know, passive light, passivity. Satan is a deity of passivity who understands things are noble, but follows suit according to the game. This also leads us to starch. Starch makes your clothing look more presentable. If you have a suitable helper, you can have your wife iron your clothes. Starch with work wordplay applied becomes stork. The stork brings the baby. The image brings the baby. Certainly there are connections to be considered there. This is part one of the debate, um, excuse me, the discussion. And then I will go into what a scientist is and how a scientist in Western culture is the most, uh, is someone who's positioned to concede my point better than anyone else, better than the religious people who are in, who are being conditioned to, by the bull. A scientist has more of an open mind, which is required for him to effectively study nature or whatever his uh, his his respective uh, form of science is. So, when we see that the scientists are cor controlled by the corporate elite and they lack the heart. We see that this, their science is helping build the new world order and not helping to expose it. There isn't, I've never even heard of a scientist who has helped to build, uh, to build a, a greater, you know, to, to bring in the true order of God or a righteous society. Their science is always used to build the new world order, even if they come up with a cure for cancer or AIDS. Who gets the cure? It is the rich. It is the corporations. They are the ones with the money, the know-how, and the network to apply the cure and to fund the company. Right, You rely on the criminal class to fund the company. So it is immoral to be a scientist. It is the highest form of morality to be a pure sun temple martial artist. And soon we will discuss how the natural path of the wise, brave, and moral scientist 
is to be a martial artist because spiritual intelligence, the heart as the seat of intelligence, is superior to intellect and moral relativism, which is the Western psychological construct, and any Western perspective will lead you to moral relativism, period. Pragmatism, functionalism, stoicism, realism, Western romanticism, these are all variations of materialism, worldliness, and they lead you to moral relativism. Only when one transcends the Western perspective can they truly find sacred morality. It was really Christianity's sacred morality that helped to bring in chivalry and civilize the West. It wasn't pagan rabble and pagan sex cults that did this. It was the Afro-Asiatic Morality that is found in the Bible that begins with the Sun Temple African martial arts order in Africa. There isn't a single principle of sacred morality that doesn't begin with the martial artists in Africa whose argument was you have to cultivate the spirit of righteousness to outmaneuver, outthink, and outperform your enemies in combat. Thank you.